the fact is nuclear waste is the safest form of waste of any power generation. No kidding. It's the safest. I think that oil and gas has powered the modern world. We would not be anywhere close to where we are as a civilization without oil and gas. But it has downsides, right? It has we may be farther if we had we gone with nuclear earlier. Absolutely, absolutely we'd be farther if we had gone with nuclear earlier. Every just rock outside has, a, a, you know, 10 parts per million is nuclear material. But still, I, am, I have an enormous amount of gratitude for the oil and gas industry for powering humanity to this point. But we did that with trade-offs, and those trade-offs are known. You are at a much, much higher risk of cancer living near a coal plant than living near a nuclear plant. Are you at a higher risk for cancer based on where you live in South Florida? Now, this agreement comes just a month after our Defender's investigation into cancer clusters in two towns that many say are pointing to the coal ash basin on Lake Norman as the cause. Living near OUC Stanton power plants say their homes are sitting on ground zero of a possible cancer cluster. Coal ash and uh, you know, the types of stuff that you're digging up from underground when you burn it gets into the surrounding environment and can cause cancer. And as a civilization, we have to make these trade-offs. We have to say, we need power, right? Power is existential. If people don't have power, they die during the winter uh, or they die in heat stroke during the summer. And so you don't get to choose between zero deaths and zero deaths. You're choosing between civilizational existence or die out and some level of death that is going to happen. And in coal, there's a number. In gas, there's a number. In solar, there's a number. And actually, nuclear has the lowest number. Nuclear has the fewest deaths per generated power of any form of energy generation. So it, it is simply the safest. And the reason for this is that the most complicated part of nuclear is not actually the physical reactor itself. Reactors are medium complicated. Like I would argue that a nuclear reactor is less complicated than a diesel engine. They're mechanically simple machines. The thing that's complicated about them is the permission to do them on a certain patch of land. Nuclear has been pushed to the side, installed, and, mm. and why have we not been innovating yeah. no, in the nuclear sector? So it's all downstream of public perception. Russia is known to be a source of this. No sh um, This is public record now. Russia, it most recently, like in the last five years, in Europe, uh, funded far-left environmental groups. Wow. This is just public record. I did um, not know that. They fell head over heels for the PSYOP, um, that nuclear was unsafe, that it was not clean, right? This is sort of the, this is the biggest scandal of environmental policy, environmental advocacy. But nuclear energy is so obviously the best possible solution to clean power. It's, it's just pure physics. It, it emits no carbon, it emits no particulates. Who is the NRC? So the Nuclear Regulatory Commission is a uh, commission created by Congress in the Atomic Energy Act of 1946. Uh, it's sort of gone through a couple iterations and various acts of Congress since then. But it, it has five commissioners, and uh, it's responsible for regulating nuclear. And I would say it's not done a good job of that. The lesson is that we need to think carefully about whether our country has properly estimated the threats to our nuclear facilities. And the evidence for the fact that it has not done a good job of that is since 1979, we, uh, the NRC has approved four construction permits. Four. One, two, three, Since four. when? Since 1979. An independent review of the design basis for all United States plants, I believe, should be a priority. This administration has turned EPA's mission from protecting public health and the environment to protecting the pockets and interests of fossil fuel companies. 
At no point during the NRC's 50-year history has there been a greater need for leadership there than today. Jeez. In the meantime, China has built dozens of reactors and is currently building 30. Right, so there are 30 nuclear reactors under construction in China today. Wow. And uh, that's a brand new thing for China, right? China has like just gotten into this. What would happen if China were to hit your reactors? And you guys were on food stamps. Yes, yeah. Yeah, we grew up, you know, quite poor and, you know, grew up in, in neighborhoods where, you know, our car was stolen. We'd come home from church and there's people getting arrested on our front lawn. And, you know, I was like friends with the guy who stole our car. Um, and, you know. <laughs> <laughs>